Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy, and it's time for a update review on one of my previous pens that I've reviewed back in the day. Now, if you keep up with my videos, you know that what I'm doing lately is changing how I rate my pens for me. Love, like, good, okay, and nah. So, this pen is a pen that I love. And so does he. So, let's put Mr. Minion aside. Ta -da! Rock and roll, baby. Here we go. And the pen I'm going to be updating my review on is the Fountain Pen Revolution Airmail 69. And the pen comes from the company in India of Mumbai. Yes, from the Mumbai in India. And Fountain Pen Revolution sells these pens. So, the, this one is a piston filler. It's a maroon color. Very nice color. Very nice fountain pen. Affordable. It has a piston filler. That's cool. And they come in other colors, black and blue as well. Uh, the pen, uh, this pen particularly, I did a nib upgrade to a 1.0. I'm glad I did. The, the nib is smooth. Nice, wet nib. Love the pen. And for me, if what's under the hood doesn't write well, speaking of the nib, then for me it just doesn't work. It gives me a horrible writing experience. And I'm real picky. I don't care if my pen's $1.49, or $1,000. The nib is the heart of the fountain pen, as you all well know. Disagree or agree, that's my opinion and how I stand today with it. So, the length of this pen is 5.7 inches and post it, it's 6.5. Five inches. It's a screw-on cap, and it does post securely. To me, this is fine in the hand. It may look a little bit large or odd to some folks. For me, it's it's okay. Without posting, it's still long enough and comfortable in my hand. I have small hands, so if you have large hands, it'll work. As you go down the barrel, you'll see that window that will let you know how much ink you have left in the pen. I've already have some ink in it. I've been writing with it. And I have some uh, Pilot Irizuku Yamabudo ink in it. And as you go down, the threads, they're not sharp at all. And the grip section is not a large grip section, but it's fine for small fingers and large chunky fingers because sometimes I may hold my pen up here. So it's no problem. And here is the nib, the 1.0 with the uh, Fountain uh, Pen Revolution initial. It's 1.0. I like that on a nib. It tells you what size nib you're using. And it has some detailed work done on the nib. Very nice nib. Very well made. The Fountain Pen is just a really nice well-made fountain pen if I didn't enjoy the fountain pen I sure wouldn't be updating a review or writing with it as much as I do now let's go to the cap the cap has the uh, engraved maybe you can see that better than me if you need that uh, says Wality Registered. Okay. A nice band. 
There it is. W A L I T Y registered. Yes. And you know the clip. It's a nice clip, sturdy clip. It'll stay secure in your pocket. I don't have a pocket, but anyway. And as you go up to the finial on top, it's kind of a cone shape. You go on down. Well, the barrel is wide, then it narrows down, so you can post your pen. Really a nice fountain pen. The main thing is how the pen performs. Uh, this pen, I did an upgrade, and the upgrade was $9 more for the nib, so I think it, the pen was 29 or something like that, dollars. You have to go on Fountain Pen Revolution's website, and you can see this pen, Airmail 69, and you can scroll down and look at the nibs. It comes with the standard nibs. You have to check that out, and then it'll tell you all about how much the upgrades are. And the upgrades, offhand, I will tell you, it comes with the standard fine nib, uh, a Fountain Pen Revolution upgrade. Uh, you're going to add five bucks for extra fine, fine, medium. And the broad and stub nibs are nine dollars for the upgrade. For the fountain pen revolution flex nib, you add a ten dollar upgrade. And you know, you're you're getting a heck of a deal for just an amazing, great, affordable, dependable fountain pen. And one thing I can say about fountain pen revolution, because I've been doing business with uh, them for a few years now. Kevin standbys his pens. If you have any problems, let Kevin know and he will help you with your problem. Customer service, 100% on the money. He's there for you. This is his livelihood. This is his business. If you're happy, he's happy. If you're not, he's not. His name stands behind all his pens. So, great fountain pen. So enough talk. Let me pull out my Baron Fick notebook and we can do some writing because that's what it's all about. So much for the jabbing, right? Less jabbering and more of the writing. And I'm going to post it for now. in a 1.0 stub. And the dog. Okay. We do a few little swirls there. Nice pen. We're going to check for wetness, baby. Nice and wet. Juicy. Just the right amount. I love it. Upside down. There you go, no problem. Line variation, downstroke, cross stroke, downstroke, at with pressure, no pressure. You get a little bit of line variation on a downstroke, but I wouldn't push it, which I never do in my pens. Well, there you have it. This is the Airmail 69 Piston Filler from Fountain Pen Revolution, a dependable, affordable, worthy fountain pen. At least, for me it is. It does what it needs to do and more. It keeps me happy. When a fountain pen keeps me happy, I keep using them. That's it. Peace. Leave your comments below. Be civil, my friends. And remember, 
Don't text and drive. Later, guys.